what's up guys today we got the song oversized from the band basement and um, this song is a little bit different than most of the band's songs most of them that I've heard are a lot heavier than this one but this is a cool one this is the first one that was requested I'm actually getting more requests for this band so definitely check them out um, we only have three or four chords in this song and they're cool sounding chords there's a nice strum rhythm in there too and the song sounds really hypnotic to me so hopefully you guys like it and uh, let's do it all right before we get going make sure to hit subscribe and check out that beginner guitar book that I made um, that's down in the description I designed it to take someone who's completely brand new and it's gonna help them get up to the point where they should be able to easily play along to all these tutorials my guitar in this tutorial is gonna be standard tuning so standard E but later on, if you want to play along to the recording, you can still play everything the exact same way, but you'll have to tune your guitar a half step down. So you'll turn, tune your E to E flat, your A to A flat, and so on. And for the verse, we just need three different chords. We're going to use a G major 7. That's three, nothing on the fifth string. I'm going to let my first finger just touch that one. Then I have four, four, three. Now just take your first finger, move it down to the second fret of the fifth string, and we're going to play 0, 2, 4, 4, and for this song I'm going to mute the highest two strings just by letting my finger touch that too. And that's going to be, let's call it a E sus 2. And to play the third chord, let's first, let's go back to that G major 7. So I put my finger back up, I put my second finger back down, and I just want you to notice that my first finger and my second finger are both on the third fret. They're aligned on the same fret. And I want you to notice that because the next chord, we're going to play a C major 7. So I just slide this shape up, keeping my first and my second finger on the same fret. And we would have 8, nothing, 9, 9, 8. So that's our three chords. G major 7, E sus 2 and then C major 7. And the strum rhythm, my hand just goes down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And we could count along uh, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. And when I said 2 and when I say 4, I'm going to let my palm come down onto the strings at the same time. And I'm going to do it so heavy that we're not really going to hear the sound. It's just going to kind of make a chuck noise. We have down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck, up. And we just rotate through all of those chords. So let's try to do the verse. And I'll do a verse and I'll go into a chorus. And then we'll stop and talk about the chorus a little bit. One and two and three and four and... we just did um, right before the chorus we're playing that that C major 7 um, so we slide down our first finger is still on the sixth string so let's use our first finger to play that note on the third fret we use our third finger to play the notes on the fourth string and use your second finger to play the notes on the third string and I just hold that little shape and I pick string six four three and then I pick that, that uh, note on the 6th string again, and I slide all the way up to the 8th fret. And I have that same little pattern, that same shape, 
But this time I'm going to be picking, well, I already picked the six string, so six, three, four. And one other thing on that course, try to get your hand to relax a little bit more than my hand is right now, but I'm using a little bit too much pressure and I'm making it a little bit harder to slide up. Kind of relax as we slide. And then it ends on a B minor seventh chord. That's nothing on the sixth string. Two, four, two, three, two. And if you can't get that chord, you could try just a regular B minor, or um, maybe you could try this chord. It would be nothing, nothing, four, four, three, two. And that's just an easy way to play B minor. And that's one of the chords on my uh, best beginner chord chart, so you could grab that if you want. That's down in the description, too. Alright, so we go back in. We have another verse and another chorus. One and two and three and four and... Alright, good job guys. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about this song. If you have any requests for songs, I just did a video called What Song Do You Want Me To Do Next? And uh, if you could comment on that video, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna use the comments as one of my lists that I pick songs from. Or you can just comment on here, I'm sure it'll be okay. And guys, I forgot to say thanks, but we recently reached 2,000 subscribers, so that's awesome. That uh, means a lot of you guys have been sharing my videos. Uh, don't forget to hit like and follow me on social media. I always announce new videos on there, and um, I don't have anything else to say, so I'll just see you guys next time.